Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here with me today to have a look at your messages for your next major love relationship. Taurus, we're going to be looking at what you can expect um, from this person and the relationship that you'll build up with them together. So if there is anyone out there after a private reading with me um, and you'd want a personal interpretation um, or future prediction, please feel free to email me and I will send you over the booking details. Uh, feel free to drop a like on this video if you enjoy this content. Uh, also, if you'd like to subscribe, that would be much appreciated. You will get updates for readings for your sign and your element. Um, and anyone out there who wants to become a member of the channel, you're more than welcome to do so. That's going to get you access to any bonus readings uh, and extended versions as well. So um, having said that, Taurus, let's have a look and see your next major love relationship, what we can learn about this. Taurus. Okay, we've got this moon influence here. I'm wondering if this is a cancer or maybe someone you have had a connection with in the past, Taurus. Okay, uh, a strong cancer coming through. Definitely someone you've had an emotional attachment before. Um, you guys have history. Okay, this person is coming up once again. Um, so, crown the reading and we'll pull out a card for overall energy. Okay, overall energy to this person is the five of wands. Okay, Taurus, I'm not going to lie, potentially someone coming up here with a, uh, multiple personalities, okay? It's like there's so many sides to this person. They're full of surprises and they're going to keep you on your toes. So you're not really sure what side of them you're going to get. Um, strong fire energy, so I would say Aries, Sag, or Leo coming through. Um, but the five of ones tells me this person has a very, very outgoing personality, okay? They're very bubbly, they're very adventurous. Um, I almost feel like I want to say competitive and challenging. So they like to challenge the norms. They like to push the boundaries. They're a bit of a um, bit of a troublemaker is what I'm getting here. Uh, and I feel like they're highly opinionated and they're very passionate about that. So I feel like they're not afraid to speak their mind. They could even be outspoken. But the five of wands is five of wands is like a little bit of dysfunction. So you know they may not be very experienced when it comes to relationships. It's like they're dysfunctional in a way. Look, not not all of you are going to get this person, but I feel like if they're coming up as the five of wands, um, they're very independent. They don't really work well in a team because they like to do things their own way. So straight away it makes me think there's a stubborn streak in them. So you guys are going to have to compromise there. Uh, I really feel like they're not an easy person to get on with. Like they're not overly easygoing. I feel like they come with their own challenges, as does everyone, right? But I feel like, yeah, they're just, they're selective with the people they hang out with. You know, they don't waste their time on things that they know they're not going to invest in. So it makes me feel like this person is potentially more serious, but I do feel like something about like multiple sides to them. So you may have to be careful, um, but I feel like you're going to be very attracted to them and you're going to like that they're independent um, and they don't take BS from anyone. I feel like that's going to draw you in a lot here, Taurus. Um, okay, so you have a history together. There's some sort of emotional history you've had with this person. So I feel like in some ways the relationship is going to repeat itself. It's like a revisit to the past. Uh, for some of you, this is going to be a chance from God or from spirit um, to make this relationship better than the one you've had together before in the past. Uh, I feel like there could be a lot of surprises and I want to say blind sides with the eight of swords. So I feel like you, the message here for you in this next relationship is to tread carefully because I feel like the past is coming into this relationship somehow. Uh, some of you might have your ex that may interfere. Uh, for others, it's this person's ex that may come into the picture. It could be like an ex-wife or partner, husband, and they may cause some complications in this relationship. So I want you to be prepared for that because it may come into the picture, in particular if there's like 
children that are shed from a previous relationship. But look, I don't want to take in anyone else's like drama too much. I want to focus this on you guys. And I feel like this relationship, there's a real like, there's a lot of love that exists here, but I get that you guys have tried before and it hasn't worked. So it's almost like you need to get your stuff in order before you come back together. The Five of Swords crowns your reading. So I feel like some of you, you might not be convinced that you want a relationship with this person you know maybe they left you heartbroken before maybe they left without a trace there could have been like this ghosting act that happened maybe they just left you in a really hard like tough place and you're not so sure if you want to take back this person so i can see that for some of you there's like hesitation and for some of you torians i see you potentially rejecting this relationship because it's too hard it's too complicated now if you're if you sort of see signs that this person is trying to change or improving that is a wonderful thing taurus right you have to in some way give them the benefit of the doubt especially if they're trying to show you through their behavior not only their words that they're trying to be a better person from what you knew them to be that's obviously a different story and i want you to give this person a chance but if you feel, however, that Two of Swords energy that it's just like a nut, flat out, not going to do it, not going to put up with their stuff anymore, and you want to walk away, or the way they walked away was too painful, I do see you rejecting this relationship. But the point I want to make is, is that there will be a relationship to reject. So if they do come back as a presence in your life, I do feel like they're going to want to be emotionally attached to you again. And I feel like they may do that. The chariot tells me they're still feeling, so they still care. And I feel like on some level, you still care too, Taurus. I think you had something very special, and I think I see a lot of memories here between the both of you. But for a lot of you, if that's what you're wanting, marriage is on the cards here. You've got the marriage card, uh, so I feel like this relationship could result in a marriage uh, or like an exclusive union. So if you guys dated and you never became like exclusive, I feel like you know you didn't have a label in the relationship. I feel like that could change and I think that's what that four of ones is, is showing me uh, and I feel like for some people I'm getting that this person was a little bit lost in their life the first time around or the previous time you guys had a connection it's like they didn't know who they were they didn't know what they wanted to do in their life maybe you know they were job hopping or they hung out with a lot of different friends there was like they didn't have an identity or they weren't sure where they wanted to take their life but I think that's going to change uh, and I feel like they're going to be more assertive of who they want and that's going to reflect in the relationship guys I feel like that's gonna make you trust them uh the ten of pentacles I see you guys living together so I'm seeing marriage potential children that ten of pentacles is laying those foundations so I feel like that's going to happen, but there may be some surprises or some things that you might be blindsided from, from the past. So they may have made progress, but I still see little bits and pieces that are somehow familiar that will come up in this next relationship somehow. I mean, I don't know if it's, it's sort of a bit of baggage from a previous connection, but it's coming up in the cards. So it's something that you're both going to have to work on, I feel if I'm completely honest. I also feel like there may be some complications in getting your family or friends blessing if you do want to get engaged or married. Could be like a cultural thing or it could be like because things went one way for you both before and like people are sort of doubting that relationship. There might be some doubt creeping in here um, as well. Uh, but I feel like what's uh, what's really good about this is that I feel like um, a lot of growth is on the cards here. And you do want someone that's going to challenge you and you want that relationship that's going to make you grow as a person and as a partner and as a lover. And I feel this relationship is definitely not short of those things. So I do think there's a lot of lessons tied into this, but I think what can come of it is really beautiful. And I think there's a lot of potential for the both of you to grow together. I do. But yes, I am seeing some sort of financial, some of you are going to move in with this person's like parents uh, or their family, like you're going to move into their family home uh, or they're going to want to introduce you to their family and want you to become a part of their world. 
Now, for some of you, this person is going to move into your family home. Uh, it could be like a granny flat. It could be like an apartment or in the neighborhood where their parents live. I feel like you're going to be very close to their family or see them on even like a daily basis. And for some, I want to mention this next relationship, you're going to get involved in a family business. You'll be there with them making money. You might even build a relation, um, a business together and your relationship, it's like building an empire together from like working from home or doing something online. I feel like you're getting involved, like money and this relationship are getting involved together, like they're intertwined somehow. So for some of you, that's on the cards. Um, I also feel like you may relocate somewhere very different together. It could be work that takes you this, uh, to these places, uh, or it could just be like you wanting a bit of a move, a bit of a sea change. But yeah, I, I see a lot of you leaving behind a life or familiarity for something new um, as well. But to have Cancerian energy around this relationship, I feel like there's going to be a lot of mothering. One or both of you are really going to mother each other. And I think that there's going to be a real, this is like a relationship that's going to be more sensitive. And again, especially if you're bringing in this past kind of energy, that's probably why there's like these ups and downs that are kind of going to come. And that's because the relationship is sensitive. Um, I also feel like there's a lot of protection. So this person is going to want to be very protective over you. Uh, so they may get jealous or, you know, they may be protective over you when someone doesn't agree with you. Again, that passionate, challenging side of theirs may come through, but it's their way of showing you that they, they love you and, you know, they want to protect you. So know that it comes from a good place, Taurus. Know, if, know that it comes from a genuine um, place is what I'm seeing. Uh Okay, if it's not someone from your past, this next relationship feels familiar. Now, it's very likely that you'll experience deja vu moments. It's very likely this is a past life connection that's coming back for another romantic um, attempt. Uh, or it's like you have history. Your souls were once connected. You know, this twin flame vibes. So there's a higher purpose to your meeting. Uh, I feel like it, you could meet at a event or through the family or through a community, like it could be a church function. It could be a neighborhood barbecue. It could be a birthday drinks you get invited to. It could be like an introduction, but I'm sensing that someone will introduce you to this person and that person that does the introducing feels familiar, uh, or it could be like you used to work with them you used to go to school with them you might have known them in your teenage years through your childhood maybe you used to work together not too long ago but it's like this person from the past could be the link to presenting you this person now or in your very near future so and it may be someone who is a cancer I want to say something's incomplete and I feel like this relationship needs to happen because you need to complete something with them. So I'm, I'm getting a vibe that maybe some of you were like engaged and you broke off an engagement with an ex and now this relationship's going to come up and you might get married or you know, you almost traveled or almost moved in with someone, but then you broke up and now this relationship is going to come up and it's, you're going to complete something that you weren't able to, or you were very close to competing, completing with either this person or someone else. It's almost like you came so close, but you didn't get there. And now this is coming because something is incomplete and the universe wants you to go through that. And it's sending you this relationship to do it. So this is really the key to your future and to completing that major milestone you didn't get the chance to do earlier. 
I'm going to wrap it up there, uh, Taurus, but overall a really strong reading. I do hope it has been helpful. Uh, please don't forget to drop a like and also subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you want to become a member, I'd love to see you on the other side. Um, otherwise, thank you again, Taurus, for all your support and love. Um, and hopefully we shall be in touch very soon. So thank you, everyone, and bye.